so good to have you here at the work, this workplace event uh, yeah, that's here. taking place in Birmingham these days. Uh, it's been hectic, but good. Yeah, yeah, great stand. The stand looks amazing, and yeah. it's good to see that you've been busy. And we've been so curious to see how the attention and attraction of this stand has been, and also to know a little bit more about the UK market, you know, where are you at? And that is specifically where I'm so curious in getting your views on, on that aspect. Yeah. But before we start, Chris, could you please put a few words on what media, what, what's your position in the UK market? Yeah, so One Media are a, a specialist technical distributor based in the UK. So uh, we work ve uh, very much through the channel, so through resellers. Um, so we've been busy promoting ProNesta products through our resellers who in turn then go and talk to their customers about it. Yeah. And we've been doing that now for almost 20 years. Alrighty. And then with this big shift in the market where everybody's talking about returning to the office, what what's your opinion about the status in the market, the UK, UK market in regards to returning to the office? What feedback do you get from your customers and your partners in, in that aspect? Yeah, so kind of very much um, it's been kind of a fluid situation where it's been changing a lot, yeah. um, especially recently. I think... Um, um, kind of late last year, we were seeing the kind of um, the, the, the organisation saying, "Come in, come in when you feel like you want to come in." Yeah. Um, um, but now we're starting to see kind of it almost mandatory, mm. uh, but in a hybrid scenario. Yeah. So um, on a kind of a, a two-three basis with kind of three days normally in the middle of the week where we're saying we're seeing the organization saying we would like you to try and return yeah on the kind of the tuesday wednesday thursday and then the monday fridays generally if you can or you want to you can work from home we are seeing kind of certainly london london is getting busier and busier where they seem to be on longer weeks yeah so but kind of in general it seems to be a three two, three two hybrid situation yeah so you you do see as i think we see in scandinavia different models of the hybrid return to work if it's three two two three or it's, it's much more uh, fluent but i would definitely reckon that you see the same thing yeah. um one of the stuff that we hear from the big uh, uh, talks that we have attended to is how can we help the companies digitally with with a digital digitalizing the, the process of returning to work and one of the aspects that we focus on at Pranesta is the desk booking solution yeah so how do you see the requirements or the wishes from from your customers in the desk booking solution what are they looking for in having such a solution yeah it's a really interesting topic at the moment and it seems it's definitely to be a hot topic so I think organizations although they want their staff to to return to the office they also want to have control of how they turn, return yeah. to the office so maybe not everyone come in um, the full office come in on certain days so certainly control it and then and then kind of where are you going to sit guys yeah. do you want to bring your team together do you want to book all your team to sit in the same place do you want to be able to be able to book a car parking space they certainly want a lot more control of where they're sitting within the offices so for people to be able to do that yeah. on their mobile phone prior to them coming into the office and then also to be able to gauge who came into the office yeah. and when and you know are people ignoring our rules or, yeah. or what we're asking them to do um, so these things are, are I think certainly before COVID everyone just used to come in sit where they wanted people want a lot more control yeah. over that at the moment and that is something which is really key and we're finding a lot of organizations are asking us how they're going to control their staff coming back into the office yeah and I do think that you will see the same challenge or not challenge but your employees will have an opinion when they think it's it necessary to come into the office so creating that transparency between the colleagues so you know I'm coming into the office on the days that you are in yeah. or when a project requires me to come in yeah. so giving also the employees that uh, option for control but also giving them that option for transparency throughout the organization yeah yeah absolutely seeing kind of my team's coming in next Tuesday I can see it on my my app um, yeah. I want to be in there so let's all book a group of tables exactly. or desk together I think it's just um, it's, it's really important also kind of um, where the offices have been completely empty and now kind of um, and now we're starting to see kind of the occupancy up at like 40 yep. to 50 percent and they're talking about in a month or two somewhere between 60 to 75 percent 
but it's just managing the people and the workflow, which they've not been used to for the last two years. Exactly. So, and when you say about this 60 or 70 percent occupancy, we also talk a lot about having insight into the data. So you actually have facts on how much our rooms or our desk being used. Exactly. So as a facility manager, I know that I have to upscale or downscale um, throughout the year. There might be some different periods where it makes sense to downscale yeah. and have the office manager say, well, don't have to prep this office every, every week. Yeah. Um, and so in the aspects of the data, how do you see that being an important factor going forward? Oh, the, the, for me, this has been a seismic shift. In the last two years, you know, people, two, three years ago, people were designing meeting rooms, which it's basically a cookie cup. Let's yeah. do the same meeting rooms. This works in our old offices. Um, let's put it into the new offices. Or we're going to, you know, there was no kind of real basis. It was all done from the heart no. and, and what worked previously. Whereas now, with Pronesta, with occupancy sensors, it's, it can be data driven. Mm -hmm. So we can see people are coming in on these days. We can see people are using these meeting rooms. We can see the average occupancy yeah. of that meeting room. So the, me the whole office space can be so much better designed with this set of products. And, and we're just seeing that kind of, we're trying to educate our resellers and our customers to kind of start thinking more about the data. Yeah, and also making the data more actionable because we have seen a lot of, throughout the time is having big data, make it to fat data, but now making it actionable data. So you can actually take the data and put it into your office, how it should be um, equipped going forward and what to take into uh, um, consideration when you have different uh, departments coming into the office on specific days. Yeah, absolutely. Let's not just design a 10, 10 people meeting room. Let's look at that floor, the data for that floor, the typical yeah. data, and let's design the meeting room based on that data. Yeah. And yeah, we've got the perfect product to be able to give them that information. Exactly. Yeah. So. And again, with Pronesta Workspace on other solutions, it's not that we have the, the tool that gives them the, the correct workplace in day one. It will be a process where they have to learn, they have to adapt. And I will, I will bet a big fear that a half year from now, we will have some different input will yeah. will require us to adapt or the customers to adapt. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of, as I said earlier on, it's a fluid situation which is constantly changing. Mm. And that's where data is vital. Exactly. So data now might be a little bit useless in 10 months time when more, more and more people are back to the office yeah. but at least you can adapt your business accordingly now so yeah really important stuff yeah super cool chris i really appreciate these chats yeah and having it. an idea you know reaching the product our insight into the market but also helping you in the uk market to meet your customers and resellers where they're at with their customers so super cool having you chris super cool dealing with you guys thank cheers, you Casper. cheers Thanks. cheers